Welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, y'all. We're going to pull up some messages and we're going to see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. Shit. So if anything resonates, don't forget to like, share. Hold on. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in a personal or anything that you want to know about me, will be in the description box below. All right, Scorpios. Let's go. So, this reading is about the Page of Wands, okay? So, this person, this could be about you, Scorpio. Maybe you're young. You're dealing with someone younger, okay? But I feel like it's the energy that you're in. I feel like you could be in this Page of Wands energy. Maybe you're being looked at as some type of inspiration, like something that you're doing. You could be inspiring other people, helping them, like, the fresh ideas and, the like, whatever you're creating, okay? Maybe you're a content creator of some type but it's like you're helping other people like with your fresh ideas and how you do things it's like you're helping other people come up with ideas okay maybe there is something that you just recently discovered like this could have been something that was going to help you within your business maybe you're starting to see that the potential that holy spirit has for you baby it's limitless like ain't nobody you know what i'm saying put no cap on what you can do like ain't no cap you know what i'm saying you ain't got no cap like you're limitless in in all your potential you could be very adventurous, okay? This um, Sag season is about exploring. So maybe you're exploring, maybe you're traveling, you're doing a little bit more. Um, maybe you're seeing information or maybe you're starting to get excited about the future. Like, you know, your future is looking very bright. And it's like, you know, at the, in, the, in the beginning, you weren't very happy or you were kind of, I feel like it was in the air about the future, but it's like now that you're starting to see things could turn in your favor, you're seeing things are going to work out in your favor. It's like you're starting to feel excited. You know, you're starting to, to be happy again. So let's see what the situation is. Messages for my Scorpios. What's the situation? Messages for my Scorpios here. You can be dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sag. Okay, so the situation is, it's the King of Pentacles. Yes, I feel like the situation is that you're stepping into this King of Pentacles energy. Now, if you're a female, that means you're just taking on masculine roles, okay? Maybe you're a single parent, you know, and you're the sole provider for your family. So it's like you have to be in that masculine energy, you know, to be able to provide and take care of your family, okay? You could be a male, it doesn't matter. But I feel like whatever this inspiration is, whatever something that you discovered or you realize like the potential that you have to be successful is very limited. Okay, like your business could be starting to, to take off. Maybe you're starting to see, you're starting to feel this success. Okay, maybe you're stepping into some type of authoritative position. This could be in your work career. You know, maybe some type of role that you're playing. But you're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable than what you did in the past. See, in the past, you really weren't too comfortable with this path and what spirit wanted you to do because that shit didn't make no sense to you. But it's like now, it's like maybe you're starting to see the bigger picture. And it's like, even though you know it's going to take a while to step into this King of Pentacles energy, it's like you're looking forward to the future. Like when you're able to see the plan that God got for you, you know what I'm saying? It, even though you know it ain't coming right then and there, like it gives you something to look forward to. So I feel like now you're looking at the future very, it's being very bright. You know what I'm saying? Because you have something to look forward to. Okay. So what happened in the recent past? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. So what happened in the recent past? Ooh, okay. So Scorpio, I feel like... Some of you guys dealt with some type of betrayal here, okay? This could have been betrayal from your family members, friends, lover, husband, wife, whomever it was. You you went through some type of betrayal in your life where you found out that people that you cared for really didn't care about you the same way. People that you loved and held in high standards held you in low standards out here talking about you. You could have dealt with someone who stole from you. 
people being very strategic on how they deal with you, how they talk to you, how they handle you. Because, like, in the end, they really just wanted something from you, you know? Some of you could have been dealing with fraud. Maybe somebody stole your identity or something, some type of theft of fraud. But this is what you experienced in the past. And I feel like that's why it was hard for you to see how bright your future was going to be because all you can think about was this energy. You know, sometimes we go through things, we just kind of live and waddle in that energy. And it makes it very hard to see that your future can be bright and that spirit has all these blessings in store for you. And it's kind of like you're just living in that moment. You know what I'm saying? You're not looking to the future. You're just living and thinking about the things that you have going on in your life. Now, so in the recent past, it could have been revealed to you about, like I said, someone close to you who betrayed you. Like I said, family members, friends, lovers, siblings, like it don't matter, like people close to you. And whoever these people were, like they really thought they was getting away with that shit. But I feel like that information that you found out really kind of like gave you fuel to your fire. You know what I'm saying? Like that little, little a light up on the ass to kind of like focus more on your business, focus more on your career. Some of you could be entrepreneurs, some of you still work, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter, but whatever you do, you start to focus more on that. You start to, I feel like, build some type of reputation for you for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who don't play, somebody who all about their business. Like, yeah, you like to have fun. You know when to let your hair down, but at the same time, you bought your coins, you know? And that's how you became very successful because you had this very business-like mind frame, you know? It was like you know how to work, work hard, but you play hard too. And that's how you became very prosperous. Now, when you get into this energy, even if you're in this energy now, Spirit is saying, don't forget to give. Practice generosity as well, okay? That's the energy of always having that, that money flowing, okay? Flowing out and coming in because you're being generous. You're giving to other people, okay? So what is the current problem now then, okay? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. If anything is resonating for you guys so far, don't forget to like this video. Messages for my Scorpios. Oh, yeah, I'm stretching this arm out. Ooh, Lord. Mm. I know I have some new subscribers. Y'all trying to figure out what the hell around me. I just had... uh surgery on my shoulder back in May, and I thought I was good, but shit, I forgot about the winter months. It's not my friend here, okay? All right, so what is the current problem? Messages for my Scorpios. We'll go through the signs later. All right, so the current problem is that someone here is trying to make a decision here. Someone's wearing their options, you know what I'm saying, possibly going back and forth about some type of decision that they need to make here okay so the current problem is now that someone here is juggling here you know they're going back and forth trying to figure out something they need to do or, or figure out how they're going to make some type of decision here tell us more about this two of pentacles you can be dealing with capricorn aquarius taurus and who else is this and aries leo sag Okay, so Holy Spirit, tell us more about the page. I mean, shit. Tell us more about the Two of Pentacles. What are, who is this that's trying to make a decision? Or what are they going back and forth about? Tell us about the Two of Pentacles for my Scorpios. What is this? The Emperor. Your emperor, Scorpio, or somebody who's supposed to be your emperor, your divine masculine here, okay? This is someone who's going back and forth, trying to make some type of decision, wearing out some options. Y'all see the damn car flew out of my hand? This is someone who's doing some soul searching, okay? They're in hermit mode, doing some type of soul searching, but they're contemplating. Maybe this is somebody who where some type of truth is being revealed. Maybe they're seeking some type of truth here. But whoever this is, they are alone. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What are they juggling? What are they what are they finding out while they're in hermit mode? What's going on with this person, Holy Spirit, while they're in hermit mode? What truth are they seeking here? You can be seeing 222-777-999 and 444. What is this truth, Holy Spirit? What are they seeking? What's what's being revealed in hermit mode? 
Okay, so while this person is in hermit mode, Scorpio, doing some soul searching, it's being revealed to them that someone was deceiving them. Someone was manipulating them, okay? Someone had like a sneaky plan or someone had some type of bad intentions when it came to them, okay? So when it came to a, a relationship, a marriage, family members, friends, hell, it could have been everybody, you know? It's like someone here while they're in hermit mode, soul searching, trying to do some type of inner healing here trying to find some type of inner guidance it's like spirit is really showing this person something i don't know about you guys and and how many twins i have but this is like this person going through the dark night of the soul and during that time this is when spirit has you in hermit mode i've went through this, through this okay i don't know if you guys have but if you have gone through your dark night of the soul okay if you're on a twin flame journey whoever you're dealing with they're going through that same shit right now okay so just think about during that time, how you felt, what you were going through, when things were being revealed to you. I know during my dark night of the soul, that's when my divine past got revealed to me and that I was supposed to be a spiritual healer, teacher slash, you know, tarot card reader. So this could be someone now that maybe spirit is teaching them more about their gifts, okay? This could be someone who, because I don't know about you guys, but I was inquiring for a while, for a couple of years about my my purpose. And I remember I kept asking specifically, I kept asking my uh, father who was a preacher, you know what I'm saying, like about my purpose. I was like, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something, but I don't know what, it's, what it is. You know what I'm saying? At first I was like, Lord, I know you ain't trying to have me be no preacher. I was like, shit, I smoke too much weed, but that Lord, like, can I be in the pool of fitness and be smoking? You know, so I feel like this could be someone, and this could be you guys, y'all take it how it resonates, but whoever this is, this is someone who has been, I feel like, inquiring. You know, when you inquire about your purpose, because you know that you're different, you know that you have something great that you're supposed to be doing on earth, that's the time when spirit going to show it to you. But you got to be to yourself. Spirit going to remove all those distractions, all those people around you who are distracting you from seeing your purpose, from understanding who you are and what you are supposed to be doing here on earth. So some of you, this could be what your person going through now. This could be what you're going through. And during this time, they're also finding out that they've been deceived. Somebody here was taking advantage of them, using them, having ill intent. So it's like things are being revealed to this person now, okay? And it's also being revealed to them that they got to close out a cycle, okay? There has to be an ending for there to be a new beginning. So someone here may be wanting to have a new beginning with you. Maybe that's what they're contemplating here. But they won't let me see exactly what the hell they contemplate. Just let me know this is someone who's going to or dark night of the soul and then some type of truth they're, they're either seeking truth or some type of truth is being revealed to them okay it has to do with this deception of somebody who was manipulating them and i feel like now this is someone now they have to make a decision they have to make a decision like are they going to close out this cycle are they going to go through this change you know what i'm saying are they going to go through this transformation or what they going to do you know what i'm saying this is exactly what this person is going through. For some of you, this retrograde could be very significant. I saw, what was that, 13, 31 earlier? I was going to say the 13th, hell, today the 13th. So this could be someone, this, this retrograde could be very powerful for someone here, okay? All right, so what are the outside influences? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What are the outside influences to this connection? What are the outside influences here? Third party. Yep. They were being easily influenced by this third party. Okay, this Queen of Swords in reverse. Look at this. This who was influencing them, creating these illusions. You know what I'm saying? This is this person who... This third party was the whole reason I feel like you and this person didn't come together, you know? But the outside influence is this third party here, this Carmen, who's very cold-hearted, narrow-minded, insincere, beachy, cold-hearted, deceitful. This is who, this is who, okay. So, Scorpio, this person is in Herman mode. Should I got to light this up? Okay. This person is in hermit mode, okay? Going through their dark night of the soul. And I feel like this is someone, like, they've been inquiring some shit. Like, this is someone who I feel like they, they lack to use, they fail to use their intuition in the past, but it's like something always been kind of 
you know, nagging at the back of their head. You know, and it's someone who's finally seeking some type of truth. And it's like now that they want to know the truth, spirit, like shit, I'm tell y'all, I'm tell you everything, I'm give y'all the tea. You know, and they let this person know what's going on if they have to end this connection with this third party if they ever want to have a fucking chance with you. Or anybody of that matter, but shit, you Scorpio. So what are the hopes and fears here? Messages for my Scorpios. What are the hopes and fears of this connection for Scorpio? What are the hopes and fears, Holy Spirit? This person fear you don't trust them. They feel it's too much tension. They feel they, they play too many games, you know what I'm saying? Made too many empty promises. They feel like since you, you're you working on self-love and since you learn to love yourself, that shit, you're choosing yourself over them. This is what they fear. They fear now that you, because I feel like in the past, Scorpio, you was dealing with this person. You didn't love yourself. You didn't know your worth. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with these people. You may not love yourself. You may not know your worth, you know? But they just feel like you don't trust them. They feel like what they... Whatever this person did, like, they truly broke your trust. And they feel like they just don't know how to come back from that. So what's going to be the outcome of this situation for my Scorpios? What's going to be the outcome for my Scorpios? 9, 13, Scorpio could be significant. February the 9th could be significant. I'm just looking at these numbers. June the 2nd. I mean, what's the 7th month? July. July 2nd. July 13th. What's going to be the outcome? Mm. You walking away, Scorpio. You leaving this person behind. Because you don't trust them. And I don't know about you, Scorpio, but it's like once you break my trust, baby, it ain't no coming back from that shit. And this is what this person's biggest fear. This is what they already know. Like I so said, this could be for some of you. This is your twin. And this is someone who's very into they're intuitive as well, whether they choose to use their intuition or not. They're intuitive, but they know that you chose to love yourself. You chose yourself first, and you don't trust them. It's too much tension in this connection. Like by the time whoever this is, when they make up their mind that they want you and they want to be with you for some of you, it's gonna be too fucking late. Because you've already walked away. And when you turned your back and when you walked away, because when you looked inside them cups, baby, it wasn't nothing that this person had to offer you. Like, you was like, cool. You was cool with that shit. Like, it was heartbreaking. You didn't want to walk away. You didn't want to have to turn your back on this person and, and walk on this journey by yourself to discover this shit on your own. But once some shit was revealed to you, you know what I'm saying? Because you went through the same thing. Like I said, I can't make this up. Whatever you went through, Scorpio, this person going through the same thing. And when you were in hermit mode and when spirit revealed these things to you, you know what I'm saying? You were heartbroken. And you realized you had to walk away because they had nothing to offer you. For some of you, they had nothing to offer you because they had to close out a whole nother cycle with somebody else. Like, how the hell are they going to offer you some when there's a whole nother person involved in this connection here? So, yeah, what's going to be the outcome for some of you is that you're going to continue to choose yourself first. Focus on this self-love. Some of you, maybe you've met someone new. You're going to continue with that situation. But you're walking away from this person, from this connection, from everything that you share with this person. You just realize, like, it just, it was, it's just, it's not worth it. You feel like this person's not worth your time and your energy anymore. And that's perfectly fine, Scorpio. Shit, I feel the same fucking way, okay? All right, so let's see who this is about. You could be dealing with Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Virgo, Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, Aquarius, King of Pentacles is Capricorn, Sag, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Virgo, Libra, and Cancer. So we're going to roll. No, we're going to do the who did. Let's see who this reading is about for my Scorpios. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Who is this about? Who is this reading about? Okay, Scorpio, you can be the young female. This could be about one. We got a big breast. Gold tooth or teeth. Slim. Someone who had someone who has gray hair. And we got a pretty boy. And dark brown eyes. Okay, I'm gonna roll the dice one time. Do some more times. All right, who this about? 
We got Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, and Sag. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.